Good morning, Dr. Laura Blaisdell. Thank you so much for joining me here in live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. How are you today? I'm doing really great and excited to be with you. Oh, thank you so much. I want my audience, I want you guys to know that physical and mental health go hand in hand, and this is true for youth as well as adults. And Dr. Blaisdell had some, had some information, so please listen carefully. Dr. Blaisdell, you're very well recognized in your field, so I would like to talk about the importance of prioritizing mental health for children at camp alongside physical and social health. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you about this today. So, you know, CAMP has a vital role in the development of the whole child, including mental health. CAMPs have this a long history for anyone who's attended CAMP. I know I'm, 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 I'm not sharing anything new, that CAMPs have this long history of a place for fun, physical outdoor activity, and these long-lasting relationships. But increasingly, we're uh, aware that CAMPs are playing a role in addressing this mental health crisis that our children and adolescents in the U.S. are experiencing. And they do this by hiding within the campfires and the canoe rides and the camp cheers, those key resilience building skills um, that develop the, the independence, the skills of social awareness, the skills of perseverance that we know are key protective factors for children against uh, mental health disorders like anxiety and depression. Well, how does camp foster maybe a positive childhood experience and allow the kids to have some serious fun experiences at camp. Yes. I mean, the serious fun camps and camps in general are the epitome of a positive childhood event. Um, the It is that, that safe and stable uh, creation of, it, of relationships and an environment that generate that sense of well-being, connection, and resilience. So you couldn't define camp in any better way than calling it a positive childhood event. Um, you know, the serious fun mission is to provide this powerful experience and access to this powerful child experience to all all children and families who have serious um, illnesses who would not otherwise not be able to attend um, or have accessibility to the camp experience. What should families or all families know about mental health and potential uh, challenges that might show up in children? Yeah, because of this, you know, one in five U.S. children um, uh, experiencing a mental or behavioral health disorder, I'm finding myself talking to families a lot about mental um, wellness and well-being. I think uh, an ounce of prevention is worth its weight in gold, right? So I am encouraging families, I'm challenging them shore up their sleep hygiene uh, to, to ensure and, and um, employ uh, family screen time and social media plans and agreements to think about food choices and physical activity. But ultimately, I tell my families that having one good adult, uh, one a trusted adult in a child's life that, a, that can listen to that child can change that child's life. So um, that's because it's a positive childhood event to have a, one trusted adult in your life. So my advice is if you have a child in your life um, that you love and you care about, sit down with them today and ask them, how are you? What is, how is your day? And then the challenge for me as a, as a mom or an adult is just to be quiet and listen and to acknowledge the kids' feelings without trying to solve all the problems. Just listening uh, is a positive and being heard is a positive childhood event in and of itself. I think that goes a long way for any age child that we have. Those, <laughs> those steps are perfect. Mm -hmm. Doctor, where can we find more information online about this? Because there's a lot to learn about childhood experiences and providing these experiences for our children. Absolutely. If people want to know generally about children's mental health, I encourage them to go to the American Academy of Pediatrics at aap.org. And if they want to know more about our 30 partner programs and camps, please join us at seriousfun.org. Laura Blaisdell, thank you so very much, and I wish you the best. Thank you very much for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Take care. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.